All right, so here's our little hint for uh, the lab for this week to get us started. We're going to start with our pulley that has some unknown mass. I'll call U and some known mass that I'm going to call K. And I made K a little bit bolder to represent that it has more mass. It's going to go up and over this frictionless pulley. We're going to assume a massless spring, just as we discussed in class. And so basically, we're going to try and figure out what's going to happen here. Okay. So first, let's consider that this mass is larger. So when we let go of it, it will accelerate downward. When it accelerates downward, this one is going to accelerate up with the same acceleration. They're all hooked to the same string. There's going to be one tension in the string. That tension is going to cause this system to rotate. So what we need to do is we need to go into lab and we need to get a few pieces of data. Number one, we've got to figure out how far this thing travels. Our delta y. We also need to figure out how much time it takes to travel that distance y. Once we've got those two pieces of information, we can go and we can use our kinematic equation, y equals v initial t. I know it's been a long time. You guys missed it. Plus 1 half at squared. We know that our initial velocity is 0 because it starts from rest. So this is going to disappear, cancel out, right? And we know y and we know t. So we can then solve for acceleration. I don't have numbers in here yet, but I'm just going to assume, I'm going to pretend like I did all these calculations and I found the acceleration of the object to be 2 meters per second squared. So this one will accelerate down with an acceleration of actually negative 2 meters per second squared. This one's going to accelerate up with an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. What do we do with that? Okay, so now we have to think about what's causing this acceleration. There's two forces acting on this known mass. The force of gravity and the force of tension. Since it's going to accelerate down, we know that gravity is greater than tension. So what that means is the sum of the forces, this is a uh, symbol sigma, sum of the forces acting in the y direction of the known mass is equal to the force of gravity minus the force of tension. Now, we know that the force of gravity, we can calculate it because it's a known mass. Let's just pretend like that we're given this mass K is uh, 2 kilograms. So the force of gravity of the known is mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Newton's second law, mass times acceleration. And the force of gravity on that object is 20 newtons, more or less. So now we can start to go back and we can try and figure out, we're all trying to get to what this tension is, right? And so we say, okay, if gravity is 20 newtons, but it's accelerating at a rate of 2 meters per second squared, we'll say, well, what force would make this object accelerate at this rate. Again, another second law. What force, what net force, to be more specific, will cause this mass, which we said is a 2 kilogram mass, to accelerate at this acceleration, 2 meters per second squared. So the force that's required in order to get that acceleration is 4 newtons. So there we're going to come back up here to our some uh, some of the forces and we're going to say okay if we need to get 4 newtons in the end that's got to equal gravity which was 20 newtons minus the force of tension. Obviously you guys are quick, you know that the force of tension is going to be 16 newtons. So coming back over here to our little picture, 
our diagram, this upward force right here of tension is 16 newtons. Guess what that makes? This tension. This tension is 16 newtons. So this thing has got a force of 16 newtons that is making this thing accelerate upwards at 2 meters per second per second. That's almost how easy it is. One thing that I'll leave you with at the end here, you've got to consider this is not the only force acting on this. There is also a force of weight, a force of gravity acting on it. Conceptual questions to leave you with. Is this force of gravity greater than or less than this tension? And how is this related to tension and acceleration? I'll leave you with that right now. Something to think about. Something to work out with your group.